Hello. Okay. Cool. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Big Thirty today. So this week, the theme of the week is going to be flexibility and mobility. So most of the movements that we're going to do throughout this week are going to be body weight. Um, today, you can grab one dumbbell or one piece of equipment for some added resistance on some windmills, but that's the only exercise you'll need it for. So we're going to jump into our circuits, show you our four movements for all three circuits, and then we'll get into it. So we're going to start off with just a good morning. So just an easy hinge here. We're trying to send our hips back as much as possible. And we're going to feel that big hamstring stretch. And I want you to think about your glutes lengthening as well. And then we're just going to stand back up. All right, so just another good morning here. Inhale down, exhale up. Next, we're going to go into a plank to a down bow. So we're going to hinge forward, walk it out. And we're just going to alternate between a down dog and a high plank. If you need to drop down to your knees for the high plank at any point, that's fine. But we're trying to push the floor away through our shoulders and have our hips and legs be long and high. All right, then after that is where we would grab our dumbbell. And we're gonna do your weaker arm first. Most of us generally have a weaker side. If you don't, that's great. But we're going to get our weight up, our shoulders nice and stable, our elbows locked out, and then your right leg, I want you to turn that toe out slightly, and then we're just going to trace the inside of our leg as we keep our eye on the dumbbell. You can go to your mid chin or wherever you feel like your flexibility will allow. Keeping that arm locked out once again, going for core control and stability. And we'll do that on the other arm. That's our first circuit, so we do each exercise for 30 seconds and without any rest in between, and then we rest for 30 seconds at the end as an active recovery. So circuit number two, we're going to be Russian baby makers. Not sure, once again, why we call this, but essentially you just grab your shin and or down your ankle or foot. We're in a high hinge and then a deep squat. So we're really just looking forward to trying to open up those hips, get good length in our legs, we're inhaling down and then exhaling up. You're able to get deeper in your squat the wider your base is because that's allowing your hips to open up more. Again, a lot of things can influence how deep you're able to go in this squat. Could be hamstrings, low back, tightness, anything like that. Just work it to a range of motion that's safe for you in any of these movements. All right, the next one is going to be a classic squat. So that's essentially like a deep squat to the side, and our toe on the other leg turns up. So I might actually turn my mat because I used to turn my arm. Um, or maybe I'll angle this so I can see both of us. But I'm going to demo a classic squat. So we want our hips and butt to go back as we close this leg. The other leg goes long, and then the toe comes up. So we get a little bit of rotation upward, and then we're going to switch and transfer to the other side. So you'll feel a good stretch of your inner thighs. Try to keep your whole foot down on that loaded leg. Okay, once again, hips go back as we're transitioning here. I don't want you to be forward in your knees. I want you to be back in your glutes. All right, then we're gonna go into a deep squat and thoracic rotation. So we're just gonna hold this bottom position. We're gonna peel open. You'll get the rotation through your spine. I want you to pull your belly button in gently just so our lumbar spine is in the rotation. We're just trying to get it through our mid back. We want to exhale as we open up and inhale down. Once again, every mobility will be different in this. Just try to do what is comfortable for you and meet yourself where you're at. Our last movement for our second circuit is going to be a beast to a deep lunge. So we're on all fours. We rock back onto our calves, and then we transfer our weight forward into a deep lunge position. And then same thing back. We load and alternate our step. Load, alternate our step. So once again, the theme of this week is mobility and flexibility, so I want every rep to be intentional. 
We're not going for speed, we're going for quality of movement. All right, so for our last circuit, we're gonna start on our mat again. We're gonna go into a down dog, and then we're gonna go into a pigeon. Back out, down dog, and pigeon. All right. Then we're gonna lie all the way down. Get this step out of the way. And we're gonna do some scorpions. So we're gonna get our arms out into a T. We're gonna lead with our heel. I want you to squeeze your glute. Lead with your heel. And if you can tap, tap. If not, meet yourself where you're at. Exhale, open. Inhale, close. Once again, quality is in the air. All right. And then our last one is going to be plank to down dog leg lift. We're going to work on the same leg the whole time, and then we'll switch for our fourth exercise in that last circuit. All right. Once again, I want you to connect to your breath. Quality reps versus quantity. Okay. Breathe through it. Control your body. And uh, yeah, let's talk to that. Do you have any questions? All right, awesome. Cool. So we'll get kind of warmed up as we're going. This isn't super high intensity, so we're not going to do a warm up prior. So we'll just get into it. We got a 10 second countdown. We're going to start standing with those good mornings. I'm going to turn my mat a little this way. So we're basically just doing a high hinge here. And here we go. So my feet are underneath my hips, I'm balanced in my feet. I send those hips back, hamstrings and glutes get long. Inhaling down, exhaling up. Keep your collarbones long and your back is nice and flat. 10 seconds here, and then we're going to plank down dog. Inhale down, exhale up. All right, go ahead and place your hands down. High plank position. All right, and exhale up. Push the floor away from the shoulders, hips behind, and back down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Trying to get some good extension in our back. Strong shoulders. We got 10 seconds left here. Then we go to the windmills in five, two, one. All right, we'll go ahead and stay up. Grab your weight if you choose. Start with your left arm first. So we press it up, walk the elbow out. Right toe is turned out slightly. Trace the inside of your leg and look up at your dumbbell. Shoulder stability. Floor strength here. We're balanced in our feet. Inhaling down and exhaling up. Three. Two, one, other side. Walk it out. Left toe turns out. Right toe is lowered. Look up at your dumbbell. All right. Good. Think of your whole body. Feel your core firing as you're speaking about that. Those obliques are working. We got less than 10 here. Three, two, one. All right, set that dumbbell down. Okay, so let's just keep our feet a little bit throughout. Do high knees. Feel free to hop into some planks, leg kicks. Just want to keep our heart rate up a little bit, even though it's not high intensity. We want to stay working. We're going to go back to those good mornings in 10 seconds. All right, let's get our feet set up underneath our hips. And we're working, hinging back, inhale down, flat back forward, exhale to stand. Feel your glutes squeeze at the top. Hopefully this feels really good for your hamstrings. And even into that low back. Less than 10, we'll go to plank down dogs again. Three, two, one. Let's go ahead and get our hands up and down into a high plank and push the floor away with the hips. If you can, try to get your heels down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Connect to that breath. Halfway. We're strong in our whole body. 
the shoulders. Go to windmills in three, two, one. Go ahead, stand on up. Get set up in your windmill. Left arm is long, right toe is turned out. Trace the inside of the leg. Inhale down. Exhale up. Now that dumbbell four times. We got five seconds. Last one. All right, switch. Go. Nice. Stay connected to your core and your breath. Strong through the shoulder. Less than 10. Two, one. All right. Set that weight down. Man, I'm sweating. I'm that. <laughs> Um, but you didn't see it. Um, but how do you um, Toe comes up and 
Get up in our stance here. Load that leg, turn that toe up. Try to keep that heel down on that loaded leg. Inhaling down. Exhaling up. Doing great. Exhale. All right, five seconds. We're going to keep squats, those rotations. All right. Let's get set up here. Last time I was moving, you guys. Heel open up, exhale. Really try to open up that chest. Get as much rotation as you can. Bring that mid back. Once again, if you need to, put your hands on your knees. Totally fine. Really try 
Take your shin as straight as you can so we get a good stretch in that glute plus the 10. And we're going to the scorpion at the side. All right, let's go ahead and lie on down. Arms go out to the side. Squeeze your foot. Exhale, lift the heel open. And switch. Thanks, Sarah. Look, we're halfway, guys. 10 seconds. Five. Down, down, blood, blood, second All right, let's go ahead and set up in our place. The shot. Down, back, blood, blood. Once again, you can bring that knee in. Or you can just drop it right there down in that plate.
All right, time is up here. We're gonna get out of Jesse's way, but please feel free to keep stretching, roll it out. Great job, that was a fun class. We'll see you next time, have a good one.